Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And we are back at Laguna Equitos, Peru. And I am trying to see if I can't find some peacock bass. I think I've only caught a couple since playing this particular waterway. Actually, I'll, I'll settle for anything that's trophy size, but I wanted to come in here and try my little boat here. This is the Hayuchu Explorer. And it is foot powered. Basically a foot powered kayak. Kind of cool. The last time I came here I caught quite a few species out of this particular location. So I thought I'd give it a try with this little boat. Haven't used this boat too often but I really like it. I wish I could get something like this in real life. Of course I would probably fish sitting down. This guy stands straight up in it. Must have some darn good balance. Well, it does have a fish finder, so we can kind of pedal around, see what we can find here. See if there's any big fish. Looks like there's a few wandering in and about. I don't know if there's going to be bigger ones out in the center or what we're dealing with here. I have not caught any trophies out of this particular waterway yet. Trophies are far and few in between, but there does look like to be quite a few fish down there. So I think we might stop right here. See what I mean by standing? There is no way. This thing be wobbling all over the place. Well, I know they will often go for the Boya Buzz, which I have on there now. I'm seeing some movement over there, so I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see what we got over there. And I am going to take my speed down a bit. Seems like I do better with a lower speed. Is that, going to, is that what I'm going to be doing this whole time? Getting poor strikes? It's like a seriously high chance of it getting off the hook. But I also can't let the tension get too low either. Too much strain is bad and too little tension is bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that stuff. Don't do that stuff. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we got us a wolf fish. Nice blue one, it looks like. Yeah, these guys. They're called wolf fish for a reason. They're predators. Big time predators out here. They don't fight quite as hard as the peacock bass, though. Believe it or not, those pakus fight really hard. I mean, really hard. And all they eat is fruit. There we go. There you go. He's a pretty one. Nineteen pounds, three ounces. It's not a bad fish. Caught him right over there. Let's see, I'm still seeing movement over there though. Might be more of the same, but... I'm 
Might try over there's a little cove over there. Might try over there and see if the peacocks are over there. They're gonna be under a lot of cover, usually. At least they should be. There's something down there near the bottom. What the heck could that be? I think that's still my buoy buzz. I thought I took it off there. Let me see. Is that the buoy buzz? It's, yeah, it is. Dang on it. Sometimes that happens. If you don't click it just right. I thought I switched it over to... Spinner. Let me see. So I thought I selected this. Let's try this red one. Maybe that will stand out. Now I got it. I did see some movement out there. Ooh. Now this lure should sink. But it's light, so it's not going to sink very fast. There's a lot of fish out there. Okay, at least that's a good strike. We'll take that. Okay, what do we got here, guys? I don't have a clue. What the heck is this? Is this a peacock? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Come on, fella. He's not very big, though. There you go. Peacock bass, about a three pounder. Not a monster. But we did finally get one. I bet you that's what most of those out there are. Love to get a trophy one. Yeah, I knew they'd go for these spinners. They're I think the spoons I was using was just a bit too big. The rattle trap might work too. I was kind of surprised. I figured they'd be in with the cover. I'm seeing a lot of fish out there. Oh, seriously? And it's got to be one. Look at him go. Damn. Holy crap. I have never seen one do this in this game. He is just running to beat hell. What the hell? He hit hard and fast, and then he bolted like nobody's business. Never seen one do that. I've seen Pike do that, but not... But only in other games, not in this. Jeez. I better watch it. This guy is... This guy's something. I mean, I've heard of making a making a break for it, but geez. <laughs> and he isn't giving up. He is coming in a little bit. But if he does another one of those little tricks that he just did. Especially since I got up. It's a Paku. That is not surprising. It's like I said earlier, these guys really fight. See what I mean? I've never seen anything fight this hard.
Boy, this, these guys are challenging. Mm. Especially with a, a poor hooking. He's trying to shake me is what he's trying to do. Damn, there he goes again. Mm. He didn't look all that monstrous. Just about average size. He's just got some grit to him or something. I don't know. My God. Look at that. Definitely a scrappy fish. There, we got him, finally. Damn. Boy, that is a tough fish. Black Paku, 24 pounds, 1 ounce. Yeah, I mean, I've caught much bigger fish, but geez, not ones that have given me such a fight. I think it's that wide body. I mean, they've got so much resistance against the water. Ah, damn it. Well, that wasn't too bad. I didn't know that they went for spinners. Well, we'll try one more cast out there. And then we'll see if we can't get over to the side where there's some cover of some kind. Damn! Oh, I hate when I get a poor strike. Okay, we gotta watch that tension here. What do we got here? I think it might be a peacock, but I can't tell. Yeah, it's a peacock, definitely. Scrappy little guy. There you go. Now he's a pretty one. He's nice and green. About the same size, roughly. Yeah, and that's a good representation of a peacock bass. Now, I am seeing movement now, right there. So, we're going to cast it right back out there. Hopefully, I can get a better hook on the guy. Oh, what's up with these poor strikes? There we go. Perfect strike. That's what I want. Right there. Whatever it is, it's slow moving. Don't think it's another Paku. Could be another wolffish. Yep, it's a wolffish. The wolffish kind of they kind of fight in a similar fashion to the pike, kind of like a shark. They just kind of cruise around. They're just big muscular fish. They 
seem to muscle their way through it. Come on. There we go. He's not huge. Yeah, they seem to be com coming in this coloration over here. It's kind of blue speckled. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my location here. Let's see here. There's some islands over there that look promising. Cool, and there's also some, I think I see some lily pads over there too. Yeah, this looks good. This looks really good. Lots of cover. Those little island islandettes. <laughs> park ourselves like right in the middle of all this. There we go. Well, let's see what we can see. Just because it looks promising doesn't mean that it is, but we'll s I see nothing on the fish finder. Good strike. I think we got us another pocket. Couldn't it looks kind of thick bodied. It could be a peacock. No, I think it's a blocked Paku. It's fighting a little too hard. Boy, those things are something. I would have fallen into the water by now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yep, definitely a black pocket. Oh yeah. Little bugger. Get in here. There he goes, he's gonna make a run for it. I don't know where he's gonna run to, but... Yeah, I bet that's what I got earlier It snapped my line. There we go, we got him. Jeez, these things are some kind of fighters, I tell you. 21 pounds. He's bigger than the last one, too. 
Yeah, we're about ready to hit level 47 here, guys. I'm going to give it one more. Holy crap, check it out. <laughs> it's a red-tailed catfish. What the hell is he doing? Wow, that was cool. Just swam right up to the boat like he owned it or something. That was a little thrown a little bit hard. Sorry about that. Gotta get it off the shore. <laughs> it's not gonna work. All right, let's take the speed down again. Holy crap, check it out. Holy crap. <laughs> let, me, let me see if there's something here I can use. That was an arapaima. I don't know if he'll go for this or not, but we'll, we'll give it a try. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, we're going to need to pump it up a little bit more here. Let's see what this guy is. Moving like a wolffish. Doesn't seem to be as big as an arapaima. I don't know, it could be a black pocket. It just suddenly took off. We'll see here in a moment. No, it's not an airplane. It's not big enough. Might be one of those catfish. Yep, it is. Awesome. I was hoping to get one, but I thought I'd have to use bottom rod. With so he went for the jerkalistic. I'll have to remember that. Especially if I go back to uh, Thailand. Yep, big old catfish. There you go. Yeah, that I wasn't really expecting, but I'm glad. He's going to... It's going to take me a minute to get him in. He probably has some weight to him. Oh, yeah. He's big old powerhouse. Let's see if I can't close the gap in. Just a little bit here, get him up closer to this boat. There we go, we got him. Nice. That's what slammed up to my boat just a little while ago. Level 47, red tail catfish, 79 pounds. And look at all the XP I got. Holy crap. That's almost got me to level 48. 79 pounds, 14 ounces. And he's not a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that is a big fish. Yeah, we're getting a picture of that. That's that's too good to pass up. I wish I'd look up. Yeah, you can't really. All right.
night. Not not bad, not bad at all. So I caught him right over there in that in those lilies or whatever those are. I'm gonna let it sink this time. Ah, poor strike. Dang on it. Now usually this lure does pretty well. It's just... Oh, it's a black Paku. I have seen more red tail catfish and I've seen another Arab Paima. But they kind of ignored the lure. Jeez, these guys love to swim around the boat. Yeah, we may have to go to the, the Thailand map and try to see what we can do with the the black paku there. Jeez, this little fella. He's not that big, but boy, they really throw their weight around. See what I mean? It's like you bounced off the side of the, that little island. There we go. And they are some hellacious fighters. They really are. He's the biggest one, though. 20 pounds. Jeez, they fight hard. Yeah, I think I've probably found all that I'm going to find at this point during this episode. Just frustrates me that it Arapaima just swam on by and I never got a chance to, to try to catch him. But maybe another day. There are trophies out here and I am determined one of these days to get one. I'm sure they must be the biggest in the game. Let's try a little bit faster. Look at that. And there's another red tailed catfish. There we go. I'm betting you it's one of those black pakus. We saw how many of them there were. They're all over the place over there. I'm just going to have to remember this spot. No, well, that's not a paku. That's a peacock bass. Well, good. I don't 
wanting to get another one of these guys, but I didn't know that they went for this particular lure. It made sense that they do. Well, this one's real green. He's, he's hooked pretty good. I think we'll get him in. Yep, there we go. Nice. Now, that's a pretty one. He is very pretty. Personal best. 7 pound, 14 ounces. Yeah. That is a pretty fish. Definitely getting another picture. He's not a trophy, but he is still very, very lovely looking fish. Seriously green. Look at all those spots. Well, I think we were successful in our mission. We managed to catch quite a few species. We caught some really nice peacock bass, a really nice red-tailed catfish, and had some fun with those black pakus. Boy, those are something else, aren't they? Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Just checking around to see if my catfish buddy was going to come up and visit us again. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.